All right, topic 12 deals with the GDNT, the geometric dimension and tolerance thing, um, and the symbols, because <clears throat> that's what going to be your pre tests and post tests are on all the symbols. So let's take a look at them. Um, the form symbols, which are these four here, are straightness, flatness, <clears throat> circularity, or cylindricity. Um, they never use a datum. They're just, you're checking the form, how straight a, how straight a part is. <clears throat> if you ever used a pool cue, you would roll it on a, uh, the pool table to see how straight it is. At. Well, that's checking straightness. Uh, that's a two-dimensional check. Let me write that in. That's a 2D two-dimensional check. Uh, and then we deal with flatness. Flatness and straightness kind of work together, but flatness is a three-dimensional check because right, you're checking a plane. Uh, three points define a surface or a plane, but that's what flatness deals with. Three-dimensional check for a plane. All right, <clears throat> circularity or, or roundness, it's just checking it in a round. Uh, that's a two-dimensional check. If you were to stick an indicator on a round part <clears throat> and just rotate it one revolution and see the runout, or uh, I shouldn't say run out the conditions of uh, how round it is. Um, a lot of companies have a roundness checker uh, in their facility as well, or a CMM would check it. Cylindricity <clears throat> is for round parts too, but this is a three-dimensional check. Similar to circularity, you check around to see how round it is, but then you check up and down to form a cage of points that would be a sleeve. So that's cylindricity. Notice the symbol over here. <clears throat> but these never use a datum. Profiles sometimes. Profile of a line, that's a two-dimensional check because <clears throat> you're just checking uh, on a straight line a profile, whatever the profile may be. Profile surface is a three-dimensional check because you're not only checking the profile, but you're checking along the length of that profile. <clears throat> so you're almost checking a surface as well. Now the rest of the um, uh, geometric constraints and uh, use a datum. All right, so you have to put them on a, either one datum or another while you're inspecting it. Uh, such as angularity. Angularity uses a datum. All right, you're checking the angle of a part. Uh, perpendicularity, you're referencing up one plane and checking another for square. Parallelism, you're putting it on one datum and seeing how parallel it is to another datum. <clears throat> position, you're using probably three datums, A, B, and C, uh, finding the true position and usually using a circular tolerance zone for that. So that's the position. Concentricity, it's using two centers and see how concentric they are. Sorry about that. All right. A lot of times uh, run out is used instead of concentricity. Some companies have a concentricity checker or use a CMM. If you don't have either one, then I'd probably use run out. Um, symmetry isn't really used a whole lot, so we're just going to kind of cross that one out. All right. Uh, position has been kind of taken over the place of symmetry. Circular runout, that's a two-dimensional check. That's pretty much the same as circular uh, or circularity or roundness, except in here you're using a datum. You have to grab the part based on how the part is inspected and check it with an indicator. Total runout uses a datum as well, <clears throat> but you're moving, and that's very similar to <clears throat> the uh, cylindricity. Okay, using a cage of points here is pretty much the same here in runout. That's a three-dimensional check. Because here you just, in, in, two, in the circular runout, you have one arrow, and you're just checking in one spot. Here, you have two arrows, so you're checking in multiple spots as you're moving the indicator down the length of the part. So you're putting a cage of points around it. Only difference between circularity, cylindricity, and run out, these two run out, is these don't use datums, these do. 
So those are the symbols, the basic symbols. <clears throat> there are other symbols that I want, and there's a book out there if you can get a hold of or go to this website. Uh, techies <clears throat> have a lot of good information. And uh, the latest and greatest um, ANSI standard is, or the ASME standard is the, the Y14.5 2009. Um, and they kind of go through all these um, standards. So um, and they have a list. So they have a list of all the symbols. There's the symbols there and what page they're on. So it's a great reference. There's their phone number. There's their website right there. If you can get yourself a handbook, because this is the one I use in all my training that I do in industry, um, it seems to go pretty well. <clears throat> page, turn the page. You can look at. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but they show you the the straightness and how to inspect. That's just one basic method of inspection. Here they're showing the call out. <clears throat> this thing here is known as the feature control frame that houses the the GD&T symbol and then the tolerance. And then here it's pointing to the outside. So they're just seeing how straight that part is. Here they're checking flatness on a part. This is a this tool here is a flatness checker. They're using an indicator at the bottom. They just run the part across. <clears throat> um, there's other ways to check for flatness. See, there's circularity. Okay, they're using a, a roundness checking machine, and basically it 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 it's like a it runs the, the probe around the periphery and looks at how round it is and it magnifies um, and then you may have your minimum and maximum <clears throat> uh, air in there and that way you can compare it and cylindricity again it's a three-dimensional check it checks not only uh, just one spot but also checks down the length to create a sleeve of points that would be a cylinder. So if you're making pistons that go in a cylinder, you would check the, the piston for cylindricity. <clears throat> in profile of a surface and profile of a line, uh, again, here you're checking a whole surface based on a datum. Um, so that's a three-dimensional check where profile of a line, you're just checking one 2D line around whatever profile. So that's the uh, profile of a line. Again, use your book, look at all the different symbols and get familiar with them because that is going to be on your test uh, to identify those symbols. <clears throat>